Welcome, welcome, guys. It's the Queen's Code Pod, and we are here with the Queens. Boop, boop, boop. I missed you, Dale. <laughs> we missed you. Okay? Yeah, we missed you. Um, you've been whining, you've been recovering, you've been celebrating doing all birthday. That. Yeah, I was you hour. left her alone, stranded with the producer last time. Okay. <laughs> she said stranded. <laughs> Love you, mama. No, it um, was definitely fun. It was hot. It, it was is, hot. There's not an episode. episode. It's not the same without you. But we missed you. So. Yeah. Welcome back, baby. Yes, welcome back. Welcome back. We love you. Yes. So, how was Carnival? I've been <laughs> trying. First of all, she's real jealous. I don't know if first you watched all, the first I'm 10 sh- minutes. Yeah, I did. Sure. I, that's what I saw. I'm not I sure saw. I want to know, but whatever. <laughs> say what you got to say, girl. No, I had I had an absolute blast. Um, I saw that. It's like, it's like when you, you take like um, like your dog special treat. For like a long time, and then it's like, <laughs> bam, Ooh, we brought comparison. it back. I know, right? and, back. and your dog's excited. Oh my gosh! When they announced that we were having Miami Carnival, like I was like, costumes booked, parties are booked, everything was booked. Yeah, I like pre-bought outfits just in case. Like <laughs> she had backup no plans. L- listen, this makes she sense was why ready. you were a little more chill, like around your birthday. Her her birthday is like a week before, right? Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah, say. Yeah. Let's acknowledge everything the was fact vibes. That you were in a whole season. It was your it was, season. It was my season. Your, we loved it. Your 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 sister's season graduation. Of, yeah, it was the pregame. Exactly. Oh, yes. Exactly. Yeah, I remember I, that. I, I'm that exactly. friend. I remember That's everything. what it was. That's what it was. The thing is, <laughs> I almost again. tried to uh, get the two weeks off from my birthday to after Carnival because I knew I was going to be on some head ass stuff. So it's like, <laughs> mm, first of all, well I off. just want to say the energy that, first of all, the energy that she had to party Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, she came to her session because she trains with me. <laughs> and, uh, she killed her session and then was back at a party. I said, what the fuck? Did she have a battery pack? Listen, you know what? To be honest, I only bought three parties. I don't know. I don't know how those other ones happened. <laughs> friends. It's good yeah, to have it's good the friends. Friend. It's, it's the oh, friend. no, I paid for some of them. It's the I just friend. don't know how I made it. Like, each hour I surprised myself. I, think- I was like, I'm still up. <laughs> your hair. They just want to have the I didn't, hair. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't get them for free. I should have. Whoever's watching, <laughs> I should have as much. As Shouldn't she. be paying for nothing at this point. I do have one question though, because you know, I've. Um, I just want to say, you know, like guys, I'm Caribbean as well, okay, and um, I'm not used to carnival here because every single year I find out. About the carnival on the day or whatever. You're I'm wild. always late. I know, but she was mad. That's I'm not why she from was here. So mad. Listen, gu- you guide me. You my Caribbean friend. You my Caribbean friend. I guide know. me. Della's more on the scene okay. than I am now. I used to model carnival costumes back in the day. I did it like once or twice. Next year, um, you'll see the queens at the carnival. I'm just saying that once. I'm just saying that once. Definitely. Next year. Yes. And <laughs> right. Our bodies yeah. will be snatched and up. Watch out about the costumes because, yeah. It's going to be lit. So <laughs> be uh, my question, exactly. sorry, uh, was um, how comfortable did you feel to just be yourself and, and just be free to dance and wine? And, it's my literal habitat. Yeah. It's like sleeping. I love that. It's yeah. like sleeping. And it's I'm, like, I always wonder that because from where I'm from, we have Carnival too in French Guyana. And um, I have wished to participate here, but I haven't yet. But I've wondered, like, because I know that, for example, even though it's a Caribbean, um, you know, Carnival, it's in America. So you will see American people. Mm-hmm. I do know the culture is different. And um, the, the, the body language, the, 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 the dance, the touching, um, these are dif- different. These, in, our, in our, my country, psh, you could touch your intimate part just dancing. It's just dancing and we're fine. But I dance know that. Dance hall people, we do that in dance hall. You know, you know <laughs> yeah. they like to set that rabbin, shit on fire in like, dance hall. Like, like, in the front literally. Literally. Please don't do that. That's not, <laughs> not safe at all. But you know, it's like, um, did you find like any type of like like obstacles or like annoying guys? Because I feel like that's, oh, yeah. I think that's all the what time. I fear the most. Um, so in the Caribbean scene, I'm like the curve queen. <laughs> like I specialize in curving. Ooh, like, okay. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I didn't come here to dance with you. I came because the music's good, the liquor is always flowing, and I dance, and that's pretty much it. 
Um, one one I thought major she was thing about a different type of curve. Never oh, mind, no. <laughs> curve queen. <laughs> I thought nah. about those ones too. I thought about. I have a lot of 4K footage, cotton 4K curving dudes is a specialty. Actually, <laughs> I, I'll write a book one day. Um, Post the real. You, Post you, you, you why it. you want to curve all of them? You don't want to like no, some of them in because you can already feel it in the back that it, the rhythm is off. Oh, that's, okay, that's yeah. right, mama, and that's what I. Um, and then some of them dagger. What, what, is this is Soka? This what is are you not doing? What are you doing? So I've, as a, as a character, but to answer your question, start? one main obstacle was um, at Carnival. Actually, the uh, the not the masqueraders. Masqueraders are the people who actually pay for their costume. They're in they're mm-hmm. in the truck in the bands or whatever. Um, apparently, the outsiders that just paid just to show up uh, broke down the fence to the portion oh, yeah, where you I get to the stage. This. And when I say like this one portion where you have a gate on each side and everyone's just like hanging on to the fence and you can dance through the fence because they can't get to you basically. <laughs> the fence was down and I'm just like, ah <laughs> You do don't it. dance with outsiders, but ah. nah, like I had to make it a thing to just walk a, like to the point where I was just she if I if I saw a guy that. beaming towards me, I was sprinting away. I'm like, I'm not here for you. Oh God. So even if it's Because not- they're doing the most. They're the worst ones. Even if it's a ma- a guy who is from the Caribbean and understands the culture, mm. and they dance would, different when they, what, but Caribbean those, men dance who with them right ca- depends on the rhythm because sometimes they mean well, but the rhythm is off. I'm like I can't whine to if if if, we, you if you're going think, this way and I'm going that way because you would think <laughs> saying Caribbean that everyone gets something like a soca right mm-hmm. or soca and calypso or jam jam or right. all that right. Mm-hmm. It's different, like mm-hmm. especially. If they're kind of new ish to carnival, right? They're and they're only used to a certain kind of dancing. It's not really the same, right? Okay, got because it. Because she's it. trying to wind, move waistline to music, and mm-hmm. it's a different beat. And if you don't know how to do that, and you're like, that's, <laughs> that's that grid. You can't do that. To I've, every I've, song. I've done stank look. Can, you, can you do that again? Like that's daggering, and yeah. that's the time. There's a time and a place that's for funny. daggering, right? But then there's it, a beat to do it right. To it. I'm and there's like, a beat to do to but groovy you, soca, and we're in the bedroom. No, sir. But Sorry. you're throwing off the rhythm and the, and the vibe, vibe of a woman, or because there's some men who could definitely move waistline. But yes, they get, the, they get the culture, they get the the music. They're they not catch with. They're, they're it's in them. They they like it, you know. And you know, as far as carnival, sorry to. Dive in, but no, carnival no, um, is new for a lot of people. Yeah, right. So the ones who have been celebrating carnival experience, the culture, what it means for a very long time, and you know, it's cool that there's a lot of newbies in it, but it's different because they're not, they don't really get the cultural, the, right. the dancing, so, the whole aspect of it. So they can throw. I have a shit last off. question for both of you guys. Um, you guys who have been doing carnival here um it's just it's very interesting to me because i know how things are done in my country um just to sum it up for th- three months the whole country just revolves around carnival mm. so whether you are in a relationship whether like you're not Trinidad. you are into carnival you can be free to do whatever you want so my question is if you have a partner if you have a husband a fiance or a boyfriend <clears throat> would you still participate in carnival the same way mm, that's a great question um and um would that mean including him or not if, if he's not with me I, we're most likely not gonna date because Delia's not going to stop going to carnival for any man. Okay. But if he's okay with you going without him. I'm going to go. Okay. And have, okay. My thing is I have respect for my man, though. So, like, this yeah. year I have a great circle of men I can trust. Mm-hmm. Like, that was the most beautiful thing. And because Love of that. the biggest yeah. loss we've, we felt in the Caribbean right. um, with the loss of uh, Maya. Maya. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Rest in peace. A right. lot of even the influential men like the DJs, mm-hmm. MCs, etc., shouted out a lot of great things where it's like men if a woman says no or just walks away from dancing with you it's walk okay. away let it There's go plenty of, like plenty it's of, not it just yeah. go and find somebody else that's gonna dance with you or dance by yourself because a lot of people just don't understand how just carnival for me is such a freeing experience it is yeah. a lot of people don't realize as besides the bands that i that i jump with all you need to give me is a cup of really good music and i'm off by myself having a great time yeah. which is most i don't <clears throat> need to have a man to dance with to say that my carnival was fun and I, I feel like a lot of certain men don't understand that it's like opportunity for me to be zesty with half naked women sir you seem desperate at this point <laughs> right but like it was such a beautiful scene so what i would do differently if i do have a man like during that time frame i wouldn't dance with my homeboys anymore it'd be like 
this is not for you guys. I have someone I'd rather be dancing on, mm-hmm. but he doesn't do this thing, so I'll keep it to when we go home. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I wouldn't, that. I just wouldn't yes. be as close to my guy friends, you know, depending on them for safety or, or for a fun time, even though it's a great circle <laughs> to have men. Because yeah. once your homeboys know you're taken, they, you're like, we watching you. Ain't no nigga gonna dance on you. Right. Or we gonna report back. Like, yeah, we, we took care of some annoying dude that was bothering your girl, whatever. <clears throat> so it changes you. as long as he's understanding, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, if he's okay. trying to say, well, you can't do carnival, I was like, mm, well, have a good life. <laughs> That's who you met? Um, <laughs> yeah, it really depends on the person that mm-hmm. I am with. Um, a lot of men, if they are not familiar with the culture, they're not comfortable because mm-hmm. it's at a very, it's mm-hmm. a very touchy, feely, dancey, grinding type of, especially that day, um, which is confusing because R and B bump and grind, bump and grind, right? Listen. But um, but if you're not familiar with the culture and you're not, yeah, it's different. It's like, <clears throat> what is going? It, it's right. intense, right? So. I would just respect boundaries of my partner, but I wouldn't want to rule it out. Like, I could try to teach them the culture as much as possible, Mm -hmm. but I definitely would respect them. So if they're like, you can't be grinding with a bunch of different men, okay, well, you need to come with me so I can grind with you, right? But you wouldn't stop something that culturally means means something to you for your partner. mm, I don't know. I can't say yes or no right okay, now. Okay, okay. Because I don't know the answer to okay. that unless I'm in it. Um, That's I would, it's very honest, yes. I would want to say no, but at the same time, I would respect my partner enough to be like, because it's like other cultures. You could try to get someone to get your point of view as much as you can, but if they don't get it, they don't get it, right? right? True. And Facts. I would want to respect them. So, I mean, I love it. I understand you know, this is nothing like I'm a woman. If I'm dating a, a guy who's in the culture and they whine, I mean, whining on women, I'm in the back day in the front. Like, you get it. Like, right. you're not, nobody's thinking like extreme, it's sexual, but we're not like, oh my God, it's like you're going to bring him home. To mind. It, does it doesn't not come, come to mind. mind. You're literally thinking about having fun, the music, the vibes, and then you move on. But it would just depend, honestly. So I, I really don't have a definite answer for that. Okay. Wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> that's fine. I know. As long as you're being real, that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to do a big shout out to you and your sister because you guys gave me life um, in your stories. <laughs> Absolutely. During the carnival. I, I enjoyed it. it. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> but I loved it. It was really with a good heart, um, good love. Um, you guys just were looking good. amazing. I got a few of those. People are like, thank you for taking us on this journey. Right. So, thank you. Right. You're welcome. I started looking forward to your post. I said, what is she doing? <laughs> You know what? You, one of the things I like the most about you guys, twins, is um, how you guys are so different. Yeah. And so uh, authentic. Yeah. yeah. You know you what I'm saying? Tell, yeah, they're different. I am sure that a lot of twins, maybe they go through these things of like their identity and, you know, how to like just be yourself without, you know, depending on your twin or whatever. That. We never I went can tell that. it's not the case here. <laughs> no, we never. And if you want to follow them on Instagram, well, you will, uh, to distinguish them, look at the hair. Yeah. Because the hair You know what? Even if you say that, there's people like, who would see me, and then like sometimes my sister will surprise me and show up at my job. <laughs> and like my coworkers will be like, yo, I was just about to say, how did you change your hair and outfit so fast? And I'm like, you can't be that dumb. <laughs> no, the thing is, I'm not going to lie. The thing is, y'all look alike. Y'all but we're look not. alike. We're, we're fraternal. Energy. But the thing is, energy-wise, y'all are not oh, the same. Energy. Energy oh, completely yeah. different. Energy-wise, y'all are not the same. Because even when I see her, I'm like, oh, yeah, that is her twin. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, people don't think they'll be like, they literally think I changed my hair in outfit. And I'm just like, I can't help you at this point. Yeah. Listen, um, black women are amazing because we come in different shades and we can different textures. You have a wonderful fro. Your sister, she has wonderful mm-hmm. dress. Yep. Mm-hmm. And that's how I distinguish them. And I love it. <laughs> that's how yep. <laughs> Yo, you should see her on her lock journey. She is heavy in her lock journey. Really? I love oh, it. And she's yeah. at the point where she loves her locks because, like, I was there from the beginning to end to the you point know how where the she beginning is. wanted to cut it off and start fresh. She's like, it's not looking how I wanted to look. It's not looking. I'm like, oh, relax. The in the let it journey. vibe. Let it rock. Let it grow. Yeah. And, her and now she's beautiful. in this point in her life and it's just like, I'm like, I look at you feeling yourself. Yeah. Mm. The dress, the, the and you're like, like, I want dreads too. I do not. <laughs> She's like, no, I like them. Listen, nope. I used to have dreads though. I have been having, I had dreads for like five years. And actually when I came to Miami, I had dreads. 
dope. So when you came to Miami, ooh, talking about Miami and dreads and Mm -hmm. the lifestyle, Mm -hmm. the nightlife, how was that? I was the most exotic (laughs) thing people have seen in the (laughs) fucking The See? nightlife and and not that is not common. See how she's talking about the nightlife is so interesting because, um, because they have a kind. I of- was. I think that you know the the world the word exotic. Um, I've never heard that word so many times. Um, that like be to, like my first two years in Miami. I was going out a lot and people would say, oh, you're so beautiful. You have an accent and you have dreads. That's so exotic. <laughs> and I didn't know if I should have taken like the kid. Oh, is it an insult? Is it a compliment? Uh, I don't know. That because, word, I don't know. I'm still what, finding. Why, why am I so exotic? Because like, it's different for them, I guess. So you, what you mean? So there's only one type of black, one type of black mm. hair, one type of black looking like what are you talking about so I, i've been confused yeah yeah <laughs> i just want to know how you were okay like receives like going out oh certain to the club with to the, the club with certain yeah. uh standards of beauty like, <laughs> you, know, you know i've been going on vip only so. i und- i know that <laughs> oh <Ooh>. but, <laughs> but well, who cares? how was that in the beginning were you received right away or were you like Okay, this is a little different look because I feel like definitely here it had a certain image that they wanted. Yep. Most people that they wanted at their table. So, to be completely honest, Miami is definitely a city that um, f- would um, privilege uh, women with long, curly hair, um, you know, who have this type of uh, mixed looking texture of hair. Um, Mm. and so, um, that was definitely something that I've noticed. I don't think I have directly been affected by it because, um, I've always found my way in VIP very easy, but I think honestly that if I had maybe, um, if I was, um, not speaking French, if I was from here, things would have probably been different Mm. because I think that a lot of, um, of those people from the nightlife, all those promoters, they um they saw the accent they saw the exotism the exotism exotism it's a word tonight it's right we put it in <laughs> our dictionary y'all know i'll be waking up word word tonight. which is going to be the title of the episode <laughs> exotism <laughs> so anyway um so that's what they saw and i think that's the reason why so if i had the dreads and if i was maybe afro-american i'm not sure that i would have been treated the same mm. and that's real talk yeah. yeah, for having seen other women who were looking beautiful, who had dreadlocks and didn't do the full contouring on their face, right. who were pretty natural looking, um, not being treated the same than a girl who has long hair, whether they're real or fake, um, and you know, like there's the, 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 the bimbo face, <laughs> the Kim Kardashian face, you know what I'm saying? Those <laughs> girls would be the Ma'am. ones that would be treated like they're like... The bimbo face, jeez. Golden. Mm. literally in the club yeah Yeah. literally yeah literally and i'm sure you guys saw that too (laughs) i remember the one time so i don't do clubs and you like my scene that's not my scene favorite too listen i've had a lot of (laughs) invites like yo you know come out to this thing you know come to my table i'm like no i'm good because my thing is my biggest thing was they don't give hennessy at the table it's always vodka and i'm like (laughs) I don't do vodka, so I'm not one. coming. Said, and every time I'll be like, yeah, yeah, c- can y'all at least have like a cup of Hennessy for me at the side? Like two cups? They're like, yeah, we'll see what you can do. I was like, oh, that's a no. So I won't be coming. But I do remember one time when I went to my first club, and I didn't know that in South Beach um, you had to be 21 and up. I thought it was like 18 and up, and I was 19 oh, at the time. Yeah, no, so me. my roommate was turning 18. Oh, yeah. So there were two black girls. She was light-skinned. Her friend was also light-skinned. Um, I actually had my hair straight when I first came here to, and started college. Um, I, I didn't have, I was high school. I started my Neither. curly hair journey. I'm trying to imagine that. High school. I started my curly hair journey. So I've always had my hair straight in braids and in a, in a Afro ponytail brushed out. Like I never knew I had curls before oh, oh. like at all. Wow. And then like the summer before high school, I wet my hair and I just let it dry without brushing it. I'm like, I got curls. Mm-hmm. Right. So in college, because I wasn't so confident with my curls yet and how to take care of it and what products to use, I would just straighten my hair until I knew what products to get. So my hair was straight for that time. And I had a tank top, a red tank top dress, heels, no makeup and earrings. Was the, I was the only one who was able to get into Cameo. Sounds Under like Cameo. Under- Sounds like <laughs> Illegally. Cameo. Illegally. 
Like the dude saw my ID. He's like, yeah, saw their ID. He's like, no. So that was my only experience to see like, okay, there is well, why did he say being, no to them? I don't, I don't there. I don't remember what their hair looked like. I I assumed because their outfits looked nice to me, and I think their hair looked nice because it, it was straight too. They didn't have like Afro hair or anything like that. I think they had straightened it. They put weave or something. It was her birthday, so I think she had like a wavy weave. Um, but I think it had a lot to do with facial structure because the thing is, we were all the same complexion. Mm-hmm. But I think it depends on how strong the features were. Mm. So with straight hair, I think I look more Hispanic with this with my curly hair or like a certain I don't know. I look. Afro Hispanic. I, I get it. I, I can you know see that. I can see that. So like that was probably the only time I've I've real I've experienced privilege in a sense. I just don't do clubs. I can't. Hen dog ain't there and um I don't do American music well. Have you guys ever felt um pressured to um <clears throat> get this straight hair look? Yep. My jobs. Wow. All the time. All the time since still now? Now, oh no, they they love me for me. Yeah, because I'm my like, job now, how can like they say that now, now both it's celebrated. Store, both stores are led by women. So the New York store is led mm. by a woman, and my store is led by me. Mm-hmm. So I have big curly thick hair. She's shaved, so it's like it, they oh, embrace huh. the different ends of the spectrum. So and we're both women of color, mm-hmm. um, and like I don't know, they embrace women in that company, and I love that so much. But in Good. every other job, it was always. Your hair, your hair, your hair. Elevate your look. Your hair, your hair, your hair. They're, they're not saying it, but they keep looking at it. But I was like, more professionally, like in your 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 job, your career history, basically. Right, because my hair was always in like once I realized what products and you know wearing it out and not just half up curly because I was very like self conscious about how big it was. Mm-hmm. I was like, let me tame it a little bit and put it half up. Self conscious. I really was. <laughs> See? Like I really was. Yep. Um, but they would always say, oh, put put your hair like her, a girl that would wear wigs. Mm-hmm. You know, straight wigs or wigs that were wavy, but it was still long. I I just can't understand how people don't under, don't see how that could be um, offensive. Offensive. <laughs> um, you put your real hair like someone who has fake hair, <laughs> or who cares? Say? Someone who has real hair. Put my hair like anybody else is offensive. It's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah. like, it's true. At the end of the day, how about you, babe? Never experienced any. Okay. Um. That's because you have good hair. Unfortunately, and also from family, actually, because my family was always used to my hair being braided up, straightened a lot. So when I finally embraced curly hair, it's like, what are you gonna do with that nest? Like, what are you gonna do with your hair? I like, think you're gonna go out the house like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, see, yeah, yep. I think personally, I it just depends what phase in my life I'm in. I'll wear my hair big and curly or straight because I feel lazy. <laughs> I love it. I love it when hair. I'm like one of those natural leases that like when girls wear their hair out and curl, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Keep that shit. So it just really <laughs> it really depends. I always feel like my straight hair right now is easier to tame because yep. I just working out so much, I'm just like and you would think it's the reverse, oh wear your hair curly because you're sweating so much, but I'm like, it's easier straighter. But I've never really felt pressured Um, because I honestly didn't go in certain social settings. Mm. Um, and even if I did, I don't ever remember it being an issue with myself. Obviously, when I said you, that's because you have good hair, I'm just kidding. Joking. Um, but um, I'm, I'm wondering, like, even like in dating, I feel like mm. there's two type of men. Mm, that's a great... Now we're getting on to a topic. <laughs> Cause that would be my pet peeve. I, there's the guy I roll. That, there's the guy extreme. that loves you and you, all your weaves, baby. He just loves them. He supports them. He gives you the money, pays for them, <laughs> and he, yeah, he accepts you with all your fake hair. And there's also the guy who's like, why? It's a preference. I mean, and I'm, I'm just wondering, like, have you guys ever experienced a guy who was, um, you know, more subjective of you having a certain look, you know, talking about hair? I always, anytime I heard the line, oh, um, it's always great to see, you know, girls with your, your with their real hair, like, oh, now all that hair is yours. Yo, it's so dope that you had, you know, that you're wearing your natural hair, or that like that you have all this hair. And I just cringe. I'm like, shut up, cringe worthy. <laughs> Shut They up. Don't even I am not one. I am not my hair. I am not my skin <laughs> complexion. Adi. So if you're going to come at me and compliment me based off my hair and a certain look that you like, 
I in, in my head I already heard, oh, I'm a fetish to you. Exactly. It's so weird. But you know, I think now a lot of people will say, Well, you're taking it too far. But I'm like, think about it. I just don't like it. Think about it. Think about it. Cause if the, if there's a woman who say there's me and I love Asian men, mm-hmm. I'm fetish I'm fetishizing them. Ooh, okay. To a degree. Okay. Mm, okay. That might no, be both. If that's all if that's all I date, I'm fetishizing them. Okay. Like there's something I can't even say the word. There's something about where I only date that I would only date Asian men. I have zero type. You see my lineup, you're like, Dele, we can't even try to hook you up with anybody because we're not sure. But people could also debate <laughs> why is that not just a preference? It could be just a preference. Right. It could be you You were around them for so long that there's something about them that you prefer. That's a great example because that's me with black men. I was raised around black people. I have a black dad. You know, so I'm used to that energy from a man, so I will always prefer to date a black man first. I'll date yeah. other... Other, I'll date a Hispanic. I have, but they don't hit the same. Not in that sense. <laughs> I was gonna do this. Not in that sense. Wait, wait, but like, it, the, the, the energy, energy is the same. same. <laughs> the energy isn't the same. Shout I'm out to lie. shout out to our black kings. Yes, we love you. Boop, boop. Right. <laughs> as far as you know, the hair thing is so crazy because I remember <laughs> younger, but not so long ago. Meaning within the last three years, going on a date and. I think because when you're brown with curly hair, it's just like uh, before everybody wanted to get into like growing their hair out, going natural. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just like, he was like, oh, you just have such nice hair. You have such good hair. And I was just like, but what is good hair? Right. Yeah. And why are you even, first of all, I'm hold not going to lie. It was like, I know it just was a compliment. Typing. I know he was trying to give me a compliment. Yeah. Hold on. I know you were trying, he was trying to give me a compliment, but as a, He's a man not thinking how I'm thinking, and I'm always rooting for other women. Like, you're not ever going to put down in front of me um, someone who chooses to have no hair. And I think that's weave, the problem. this, that. It's just like, that's, the, that's it's, them. It's putting down someone just to put you right. up. Right. And as I was a like, compliment. I don't, that's not a compliment to me. Yeah, so I agree with it that. wasn't that he just complimented me. He then proceeded to say, I don't know, I don't like weave. And I was just like, well, that's your, that's cool. That's your preference. Don't need to tell me that. But, it doesn't matter to me, and I wear I wear weave sometimes. I wear braids. I wear my natural hair. I do the, so. At the end of the day, I'm not I'm not here because that's real weird. If you get in a relationship with a person like that, so the minute you throw a weave in, it's yeah. Not I want to like, protect oh, style like my hair in the summer, and it's like. Mm. So I didn't really love that comment because I was just like, I get where you're what you're trying to do, and I didn't um. I didn't bark at him. I kind of just explained it. And he he actually was very receptive. He was like, you know what? Nobody has ever broken it down to me yeah. like that. And I can get why that would be like how you wouldn't want really receive that as a compliment. Mm-hmm. You know? So it was kind of cool because, you know, sometimes men could get a little defensive. Not all, but some. Um, maybe I just didn't know back then how to explain it. <laughs> but Listen. I just think it's weird that a man would put so much emphasis in hair. Like, no, oh, they man, they put crazy no, they emphasis in like, that. Uh, chill. Ooh. One day, I had a guy in a date that was in my single life. Uh, the guy was like, I love your hair. I can't believe it's real. And he literally put mm, his mm, fingers mm. on my scalp and Yo, did that. I throw up. <laughs> and I was just like, not what the noise. in the world is going on? Is this guy touching my... Sp- That's kind of intimate. He was on you. your scalp? <laughs> yeah. I would pass out. <laughs> <laughs> I passed I out. Passed out. Well, I, oh, I almost sad. did. I was so uncomfortable. And I felt like, <laughs> why are you doing this? And he was like, no, because yeah, there's so many women. They say it's their hair, but it's not. And I'm like, yeah, but you don't have the Oh, he right. was trying. He was trying. Well, yeah. He said he was lying. Yes. I think it, it was insecure about, about my life. hair. <laughs> Red flag that is field. so weird. <laughs> no, oh I my need to god! Be ejected, ejected, bro. So Yo, to me, everything has about to my do hair. with the association and the intention. Like to say, "Oh, I really like your hair. It looks very nice. That's different." <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> what we, we we we. But we, you know what? The transparent people do the same thing too. What? Touch your hair. That's all yours, <laughs> oh, and then the they touch it. Shit, she took them out. I <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm out. Bye. See you tomorrow. That's you know what? <laughs> Who? Transparent people. Transparent. Pop color. <laughs> anyway. What? That's a good one. Oscar. Ma- no. I'm sorry. Let Zoe me off. tell you. It's just weird. Okay. The, can, the, can we say this the thing? <laughs> but okay. To go deeper into hair. Mm-hmm. Right. How do y'all feel about 
Kylie Jenner, her sisters, white woman, per se, rocking all the weaves that black women have been doing for so long, and they would be like, oh, that's so ghetto. Girl, we all know the Kardashians love black people. They want to be black. The, the thing is, a lot, of, a lot of times, white people... And I'm just using them. There's more of them. But. White people think um, that straight hair is strictly a white person thing or a straight wavy hair is a white person thing. Like, they think tight coils or some type of coil or curl pattern only belongs to black women, mm -hmm. but, sh but short coils that don't grow, basically. So if they see someone of color with long, luscious hair that looks similar to theirs, they're like, that has to be a weave. And even black women do this, will accuse do a black woman black of lying, woman. saying you have a wig on. We see that HD lace. You can tell hair from the scalp versus a lace, love. Please don't embarrass yourself on, the, on Beyonce's can. internet. Don't do that. But, but that's not. But, but that's. I but was how saying. How do you feel about Kylie Jenner wearing? I feel like because um, it's more it, so it's, them like it's an appropriation of culture, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Because appropriation that's what, or that's appreciation. What, appropriation. <laughs> appropriation. She said appreciation. Mm. No, not that's because the yours. thing is they have their own straight <laughs> hair, mm -hmm. nice hair. We would never wear, it, but it's nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But now they want to wear the pink wigs and the blonde wigs and the this wig, every other dyed color wig that black women have been doing for years as mm -hmm. expression, as fashion, as art, culture, art statements. And now they want to do and it culture. and they're Brace. praised for it by millions. Right. Black, white, other. And it's crazy. That's yeah. what I think. I think it's crazy. Um, and, and it goes to say, like, a lot of people want to take the culture but not the actual person. They want to be the they want to be immersed in the culture, but they don't want to be a black person because it it ain't shits and giggles. I think it's easy to go towards the ghetto image of uh, black people. Um, it's easier to go towards this image com versus um, the ghetto image of of, of a white. <laughs> person or the ghetto image of any other race per se i think that when it's us black people i don't know if we traumatize people more um but it's it's it hits different it's just what they already think of us black women well the media portrayed that and stereotyped as threatening black women in that light mm -hmm. right so now people who's like for instance in america there are white people who've never met a black person in real life like someplace in Utah and one yeah, of those places. That's crazy. It exists now. So what they rely on is what the media tells them of a black person. So when they see someone that's well spoken, be like, I've never seen one like you before. Mm -hmm. Like literally, they would be like that, just dumbfounded, mm -hmm. like, oh, you mm -hmm. guys can. And then they relate them to being white because they feel like properness, etiquette, pronouncing words is belongs to white people. Like they think straight hair belongs to white people. It does not because black people come in the most variety of any race. The most. I think I, I kind of have my own kind of trauma about, um, I had, I would not talk about it in present, right. but I've had a trauma at some point about hair, especially fake hair. Because, um, when I used to live in France, I used to have a roommate. Um, she was uh, African from Sierra Leone mm. and, um, she was a beautiful black woman with natural hair her natural hair were gorgeous. Um, but she used to just love wearing weaves that were like all the way here. So I don't know how many inches that like when it's, Past the booty? 22? 22, 22. <laughs> yeah, I don't like know, but it was 22, 24. Okay? <laughs> oh. And she was about a, that long hair life. Okay? And she also had like a... Yeah. It, it would come half half and cover half her face. Um, and then I realized as I got to know her that she was actually very insecure about her face, her body, her skin. And now, face that as a whole, with me. was it face as a whole, face as in breakouts, face as in as features? As a feature, feature as oh. being black. Yeah. So that kind of traumatized me because that, that's the first person wearing weaves all met. the time that I've met. So for a while, um, I was against it, especially I used to wear dreads and stuff, so I didn't have time for wigs. Um, <laughs> but when I arrived here, I was exposed to the diversity um, and then, and you the know, marketing, hair, yeah. you see, and then I saw also that fake hair can look very real, mm -hmm. especially when you do the half row, the curly, yeah. the natural look. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I, fa I fell in the trap. And uh, <laughs> I, I changed my mind about the whole thing. Yeah. Up, all yeah. wigged up. This, this ain't my hair, girl. Ooh, and it's, it to me, it's sure fine. Good. I don't mm -hmm. like either when 
our yeah. same us likes to get on one another about what we decide to do with ourselves, whether that's where we've <laughs> where, and I guess if you don't get it and I get it always, like I said, with the association, like, Oh, like you're covering your real hair. You have insecurities. You got a deeper thing, but it's like, you realize it really is just art and an expression of yourself. Like yeah. I get to change it up. I get to have a fro today. Yeah. I get to have straight and hair And tomorrow. hair changes your personality. I hair, exactly. like, right, I get to throw it away. Like, Kurt, when so you are a natural Lisa, fun. yeah, when you're a natural Lisa, your hair don't dry the same. Exactly. <laughs> like, you hope and pray to the guys, like, dear Lord, in two days today. I have a wedding. Can you let it dry right? <laughs> right. I don't want it to shrink today. I want it to be long. <laughs> and I want the front to not frizz. So, Lord, you help me. Know. So, like, even then, when it, when it dries right, when you take out your twist out and the curl is right, when you put on the wig and it's laid right, I got a point for that, too. Um, you feel different. You have a different attitude, and it's great. That's our expression. Right. What I don't like in our community <laughs> is, and I know a lot of women can attest to this, is, like, we're seeing from everyone, especially our own people, that if you can't lay your fake hair right, something's wrong. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have fake hair in, you're having a rough day. Where Why isn't your hair done? Like, oh, I hate okay. that that's, I what we're, that's where we're at. Like, I can see your, I can see your lace. Yeah, because it's a wig, and I don't know if you know this, but my hair don't look like this. So exactly, because you're supposed to pretend that you have another type of hair, which is actually... So um, that puts unneeded stress. I don't think it's healthy. Unneeded stress, unneeded drama, because a lot of times people will be distracted, be like, your, your wig's lifting. Okay, well, forget my message since you're so into my looks. And I, Yeah, and all the time is always about women's, black women's looks and how they present themselves versus them as a person. And That's a great perspective, though, uh, because I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's be fully honest, okay? Um, I follow Kendall, Kendall Kinden um, on Instagram. He's an amazing influencer, and he always comments on women's wig in love and hip-hop, okay? And I love this type of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you I'll do. Say it. Kendall who? Kendall Never Kinden. Never heard of him. Kinden, the Kendall. Dude that, 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 you know, uh, you, he's, he's, my ninja. Ninja. he's my ninja. Anyway, <laughs> so he always he's always talking about these women's wig in the show. And I agree. Why? Because to me, if you're going to be on TV, baby, look. I mean, oh, no, like, on TV, you got to be uh, presentable. It's the minimum that you got to do. Just like if you're going on a date or if you're somewhere where you're supposed to kind of like look look your best self or whatever or represent yourself in the best light you know these are little details that you know to me would would change something I and i'm that. very about fashion fashion doesn't define necessarily who you are but i am a big advocate of expressing yourself with fashion mm -hmm. um and that's actually yeah. why i changed my mind and went from anti-wigs to Pro wigs. And it's great. People, we're allowed to change our minds. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, Whoa, this, uh, in French, you don't stay the same as There's a, a saying in French that says that it's only stupid people that don't change their mind. Yeah, because there's also a culture of like switching up and it's like people can grow, change their mind, like, understand something things. differently, decide mood, they like it, decide to do it, decide they don't, don't like it. As a it. woman, I feel like our moods change a lot don't you have moods and then sometimes you feel like dressing like more like a guy or sometimes you feel super sexy bubbly Absolutely. or sometimes you feel like you're going for like the, the extravagant titties out look or whatever you know titties out. i don't have that option so i can't do that but <laughs> no 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 i do agree with that because <laughs> yes, I, I do think to change your mind my environment does help me change or adjust to what i'm doing like i've done retail all my life so depending on where i work if I have to wear the clothes, that's what I become in a way. So like, but I know what's natural for me. I know what I'm most comfortable in yeah. based off my personality. Yeah. And the job that I have now, yeah. up my alley. Put me in a jogger set and I'm good. When I was at Ted Baker and the tight dresses and the, specifically the tight dresses was the problem because that's what the <laughs> store manager wanted me <laughs> I like me the in. tight dresses. Because I was, I always opt for a pants option or a short option. She said the no booty, skirts, uh, no dresses. The booty. But uh, because to go to work or in the store, like duh. Yeah. But because Wait, they wanted you to wear a dress, it wasn't an option. Is it, like, is it even legal? So basically <laughs> the store is it's like it's a British brand, right? 
But that was the first brand I've ever worked for that would fit my curves. And I'm like, okay. So, and they were the first brand that let me wear shorts. And I'm like, we're going to do that. That bigger is And everyone knew, all, all the staff knew. I was like, oh, the new shorts came out? That's Delia. Like, she's, she's going to grab that. <laughs> but the store manager, man, um, was like, <laughs> man. I need you in a dress. Uh, for what? Mm, yeah. Okay, what you need me in a dress for? Which is, for what? My boogie out in the shorts. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? In retail, they bank on the women looking a certain way to bring Image. in sales. Image. Image. All right, all right, yeah. all right. So Image. now I have a question. All right, all right. So Ooh. Ooh. both of you guys, you meet a guy and he's, you know, like um, all the boxes, tick, 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 tick. Hmm. He's handsome, whatever the size he is, has a great job, he's smart, he pays, pays attention to you. Uh, he knows how to listen. He knows how to support you. He's shown all the good stuff that we love about men. But he's like, you know what? I like the straight hair look on you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> this type of man exist. So what would you do? You already have, you have one feet it's okay. in the love zone. He's one feet. One he's foot. allowed to actually one foot. foot. <laughs> Sorry, he's allowed one to have a preference. One foot in the love zone. He's literally <laughs> allowed to have a preference. You but, infatuated, but it's, AF, AF. But it doesn't mean I have to meet those standards. Would day you in change? And day out. I like my hair straight too, so I'm gonna have it straight. I am not gonna just wear straight hair for you all the time just because you like to. See but me. would you still, um, I would say privilege this hairstyle because that's what he likes. I don't know. And that's your I man. think we would naturally... And you stick beside I would, <laughs> I would naturally want to cater to a degree, right? It depends how he met me. You met me with straight hair? Did he meet me with straight hair? <laughs> he might be like, well, I liked you when I met you with the straight hair, but I'm not going to be catering to you wanting me to wear hair. I'm not burning my hair. Like, you can, like, straight <laughs> hair, like, straightening your hair all the time can damage your hair. Mm, yeah. Right? Sure. But. Wigs. <clears throat> oh, you were wearing wigs? I was bringing it up. I out. don't know, like, if <laughs> it's going to be. Ups- wigs, yeah, very true. Um, I don't know, because that gets very weird. And mm, I need some more details about this man, because if so, it's, like, a controlling ass so, human being. No, no, no. Okay. So, no. I don't what know. I understand, I don't right? Know. To I what I understand. He I checks know. all the boxes. Now, have we been. Have we been talking know. for some time? You've been talking. You're saying you've, one been, foot. you've been intimate. You're one I've, foot in the thing. The guys can beat the P hair. up real good. Okay, so, okay. so <laughs> what's the time frame? Six, no, not six months, after six, three months. So three months he decides to tell me he wants me in straight hair? First he of all, decides he that's prefers, what I'm saying. Prefers. Like, I, need okay. more, so I need more details. For, for me, <laughs> for me, I will laugh in a guy's face. And I'm like... <laughs> They call me Afro. <laughs> Don't be. Yeah, a, that's a, the jokes write themselves at this point. The <laughs> jokes write themselves. I would laugh at him and walk away. And I'm like, I think you need to find you a new broad because no. So would you think? Oh, he has a, a, a like a t- some type of um, issue with like just just. just I wouldn't just say that hair. because I wouldn't say that because I. It's like a thing. Like some women like their men with beards and a mustache. And when he shaves it, you're like, mm, I prefer you to have that little mustache. But imagine meeting is, a man Your natural with no hair is your natural hair. <laughs> it's how you look in, in your it natural could be state. A pre- okay. I'm saying it could also be a preference. Imagine this. Let's switch it up. I meet a guy with dreads. Mm-hmm. Okay? I check all his boxes he has for a woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. I put it down. Mm-hmm. Okay, I do whatever I need to do. It's been three months, and I said I prefer my man with waves. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If that man don't laugh in my face, he got a mental illness. That's right. Say, that's that's right. Why I'm like, how did he meet? If he met me with straight hair, and then all of a sudden, no, I go, he saw you once with straight hair, and was like, wow, this is what I prefer. He ain't never seen me once, so I know I'm gonna laugh in his face. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, I'm it, laughing his face. It I'm can't like, happen. Like, it can't. I feel like this scenario could go towards me because I do my hair straight. You do a lot, it, it, yeah. right? So it'd be like, <laughs> Plain oh, Jane okay, over here. that's nice. Like, I like my straight hair too, and I definitely will wear my straight hair sometimes. But I'm definitely going. I. It's cool that you have a preference. I like you with a mustache. 
don't shave your face. I think. <laughs> but it's like, I'm not going to be catering to that all the time. I'm a woman. I'm, I'm an individual. I'm right. not here to, I'm not saying I wouldn't want to. I'm like, everyone to a degree wants to say, oh, my of man course. likes this, Absolute. my man likes that. Let's Absolutely. not be right, stupid here. But at the end of the day, it's like, I'm not wearing my hair straight all the time because you said I prefer your hair straight. No, you're going to love me and like me with all my hair, including it straight. But see, that's why dating is good. Keep dating. Please, please, please. (laughs) Preliminary. As a woman who has been wearing dreads for five years in her life, um, and that that was not my first time doing dreads, um, I've had dreads for, I've had dreads three times, three different times. And the longest I kept them was three, um, Five years, sorry. I think um, as that person, I have experienced um, just meeting men who I could tell <laughs> dreads were not their type of hair that they would prefer on their women. They still women. try to talk to you, though? Um, they would talk. They would be interested maybe by the, you know, the, the, the curves. <laughs> that <blondie. laughs> But not the hair. You feel me? Um, and, and I think because of that, I might have carried some type of like bitterness so Mm. if i meet a guy if i'm like at the time i was single if i met a guy that was like um um i think i would want to see your hair straight or i love your hair straight or i prefer i would straight up think you have a problem with black hair Mm. because you have a problem with my natural hair which is my natural state which is how i wake up how how i was Mm. born you have a problem with me as a black woman I would think that's straight up. Mm. I w- that's how I would feel if a man dated me for three months with this and all of a sudden said, I have a preference for straight hair. It's like your personality. You're going to know your hair. Get out my face. It's weird. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I need more clues, but it's weird. I did used to have a guy when I was in like 21, 22 be like, I think he would just so look good, look, look good with dreads. He used to tell me that. He liked girls with long dreads. He was very. I know the fetish. He loved <laughs> dreads. And I was just like, I think Jez will look nice. He was, he was Trini, too. Mm-hmm. You know them them's, them's be the ones. I love the change. <laughs> right. Dreads? Yeah. No, and I, Sit Then down. I would always Relax. have my hair straight all the time. I never wore my hair curly back then. Um, had it curly, but definitely just didn't want to wear it curly. And he would always be like, I think you would look good with Jez. I think you would look good with Jez. His mom I put faux locks. You know what? I, think, I actually think that men don't give a F about our hair. They, they, mm, are, are debatable. Are they supposed to like? Debatable. I don't know. It is debatable. If I date, if, listen, if Trey tomorrow start to tell me which type of wig and is better and then I should dye this one and stuff, I'll start worrying. Like, <laughs> why you know all that? Why you care? <laughs> why you know? How you know? Like, Yeah, I don't know. If, that's why I'm like, I've never, like, I've dated so many different people. I've never, ha- I may have heard, like, oh, you have really nice hair. or d-, But I've never heard someone tell me, except for that guy who's like, I th- he just kept insisting that I would look really nice with dreads because I think he just liked dreads. But whatever, like, that was, he was young. Either I way. think a man but- who prefers you in a wig is a man who has a problem with himself. Oh, that doesn't, like... Uh, appreciate your authentic self and your hair. If yeah. you're yeah, there right are you. men, just like there are men who are pro surgery and who would pay for their woman to change her body to get a BBL and boobs and stuff. There's men that would pay for the wigs because they like the wigs better. Mm. And I do believe I may be wrong. I hope she likes the so. wig better too. I think these type of men that pay for the wigs they because go, they what? love the wigs what? better. How, they have a problem. The world is so funny. How is it that they would go together? Who don't mesh well. Always, always find each other <laughs> i like my girl in wigs and the girl's like i got an afro that i wear 24 8 what are you talking about Opposite how do those track? type of people always find each other who loves their wigs. Track. it's like okay i like this girl but i'm gonna change her to do because this. the same thing is Humans boring they're crazy the That's same thing crazy. is boring you don't want to i don't if have... i hear something that I, I i think like all right he's not gonna like me i gotta go this way yeah that's sure. me but then me i think too much and i care too much i'm just like yeah you do bothering. you do and then i I'm sure that most of the time when you think he's not going to like me, you're wrong. But that's another topic. I want to bring... Combo. I want to have a video of Dell on a date. You just seem like... <laughs> Listen. I'm going to record... Production? We my, need to this order gonna, this in the production. I'm going to record you, know you on a date do? because, like... I'm like... 
Dow, do you like anybody? She should have her own show. Her <laughs> own to. show where she's dating different, like I'm literally different men. To. And we're recording the whole thing. That's a VCB oh media show right there. Delia, Delia dates. Delia, Delia dates. Delia finds love. I just no, no. Delia, Delia, Delia dates. dates. Delia dates. Delia, Delia date. is not finding love. <laughs> Delia dates. She's doing a lot. And, and I love. just want to record but, her. Yeah. At her. You're gonna see yeah, a lot of faces because my face meet, is not quiet. You're gonna meet your match one day, like. Oh yeah, I agree. I can't wait I for agree. that. Um, I am not. These questions are all great. I have to ponder on some of these a little bit more, but I don't know. On the topic of good hair, you guys have seen good hair. I think that's what it's called by Chris Rock, and he yeah. goes around with one woman used to perm their hair, and a perm, which is really a relaxer because it would straighten your hair yeah. permanently. Mm -hmm. Um. It was a really good uh, documentary because it really broke down the uh, the subconscious reasons why a lot of black women wanted to have a certain look. Y'all alcoholics. Hold on. She's so jealous. Go Strong ahead. word. <laughs> All right, pour some in here. Thank you. Yes, we saw the documentary. And you know what? Shout out to him for that. Wait because a minute. Wait I don't... A minute. I don't... I saw like the first episode, I but I don't remember it. But I I understand the gist of it yeah, I was from like the conversation because they were like in the hair salon, right? There was a hair Talking. salon. He was going out in the street, um, and I think he was in a barber shop too, or something like just, that. Just uh, interviewing people. Um, it was you. We, you'd have to remember it was a long time ago. Ooh, but I just wild. thought it was. I mean, obviously, the topic of hair is very big in our community. That yeah. someone could make a whole documentary about it. Um, and break it down. Yeah. I feel like, um, because, you know, I'm always thinking about our kings, and I feel like most men, the, the real ones, they don't care about hair because they're okay and comfortable with how you look when you wake up. Real kings. Real kings. I wouldn't say they don't care about it. I would say they're vocal to what matters. Hmm, like that. Okay. Right? So if they say, hey, we're, I like men who are proactive and who are attentive, right? Mm -hmm. So if a guy's like, if you wear this outfit, do your hair like this? Yeah. It compliments the outfit. Right. <laughs> and like, it also means that he's paying attention to you. Right. And maybe he sees a style on you that he might like that you've never done before. And he's like, hey, do, do this or try this. You should try this. Or you should try that. So I like that type of man, like where they care enough, but they care where it matters. It's not like, I need you to be this way. <laughs> And what if your man is like, hey, baby, remember this week that you wore it three years ago and it had the nice I love that part shit. on the side? I love that. And it was looking remembered. like get, get, get all the details. I love it. Really? I okay. love it. I get it more with outfits. I get it more with outfits. <laughs> like, remember that this, one time when you same, wore it? I'm like, yeah, you like that? I'm wearing it again. Look, but the same topic <laughs> could sound contradicting, but it's all about the association yeah. and how you do it and why you do it, right? The, um, the, the, the motive. The motive. Behind it. I just wanted to point that out because I'm like, it could sound like, but I thought you guys don't like when a guy told, it's a little different. Well, talking about our kings, telling us shit and asking us shit. <laughs> <coughs> Didn't we receive some questions? <laughs> oh, yeah, girl. Ask a queen. This is the time for ask a queen. Y'all saw the last episode what happened to We have a new thing Ka now. Okay? I got to watch that in its entirety because I feel like I need that energy. Yeah, that last episode was amazing because it was basically a Ask a Queen special. Mm. And we had questions from our producer. We had a very hot conversation. It was amazing. I hope you watch it. If you didn't, you better tune watch in Watch it. But Let's watch it together. We're going to have a watch party. That Let's led to us asking on, I on Instagram, okay, um, guys... What do you want to ask us? What do you want to say? What do you want us to talk about? And we did have some interesting questions. Um, we're going to pick one tonight because, you know, we, we ain't got all, all this time. Because we okay. can talk. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so since it's the first Ask a Queen, I'm going to do a little shout out to the Gents Pod and Dramatic. Because boop, 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 boop. Okay. Energy. We love y'all. We love what you do. Okay. Uh, and it has nothing to do with the fact Tell that the Trey truth. is part of the gents. It has nothing, <laughs> nothing to do with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a soundboard. That's a ghetto soundboard. That's awesome. Let's see. So, what does he got? What does he got? Jeremiah asked, I always hear that women resent their men a little bit if they have to help them financially. Money talk. 
Is mm. that true? Hmm. I definitely have resented some news. No, <laughs> no, because I laid out on the table. Mm-mm. I don't want to resent anybody. Um, I definitely feel like it depends on the woman, and it depends on the situation. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like a woman can grow to be resentful toward her man or her husband when she feels like everything is falling on her and she has no support system. Um, And she feels like she can't rely on her man to help lead the family. That could be very exhausting um, for a woman. I'm sure for a man, but definitely for a woman. Um, Why? Just because what... I don't want to say most, depending on who the woman is. If she wants a provider and he's not providing or he starts, he wants provided and then he no longer provides, of course she's going to grow resentful because it's not how they started their relationship. What I want to ask you is how would you feel about a man that at some point uh, requires you to help him financially? At some point? Yeah, at some point. Um, because to me, when we say help, Jomanic said help. Help. Help I doesn't mean assist. Take. See, if I'm assisting you, that's different. If I'm helping you, to me, that means it's one time, two times. Right? It's oh, not yeah. a pattern. No, yeah, absolutely. Help is fine. Like, at the end of the day, we're humans and we're people. And if he has a point in life where he needs some help, and I could d- give him that help, absolutely. But if I started, if we go into a relationship and I am, you're paying all the bills and I am paying the light bill, the water bill, da, 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 and that's our agreement, but then you need help at a certain point in your life because some things happen, of course. But I just want to want that personally to be a consistent rhythm of my household and to have some me now be the provider. You don't want him to be comfortable. No, no. Gotcha. And I don't mind it because at the end of the day, we are a team. And if you need my help in a certain season of life, of course. But um, those would have to be ongoing conversations. I would not be resentful because I would want to help my partner. I don't think um, it would be fair if he... Especially if he's trying everything he can try and do as a man to provide for his household and certain things are not pulling through and we have a conversation and I can be a provider in that time frame, but we're going to have to make sure it's a time frame because it's just not something I want for personally for my household or else resentment could grow, you know, um, if that wasn't our agreement. So it just depends on the woman. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um... I see myself having a house husband, so okay. Like you want to be the <laughs> provider for your house. I wouldn't mind. Okay, well that's. I that's have I have mind. actually have no issue. Say if he needed help and it turned into me providing for everything, I it it wouldn't bother me to an extent. And I say that because I believe in, in anything with intention. So if this man is if the if the situation and where I met this man like in which he met me with my curly hair and he's all this I'm provider I'm the man keep the same energy mm-hmm. if you need mm-hmm. help I ain't got a single problem doing that but now if all of a sudden I'm providing <laughs> and you were this big macho oh, talk yeah. and yeah. now you're no longer this yeah, macho no. talk because yeah. you got used to me providing and I have no problems doing it I'm gonna keep doing it because I'm not gonna be homeless <laughs> so it's not uh, even about um, the, the, the money it's about be authentic be authentic, be authentic and who you are. And, yeah. If yeah. you want to be a house husband, do that from the beginning for me. That makes it easier. I mean, even if you were just into that role, that's fine. But I'm a, you got to be the best house husband you're going to be. Because if you thought you were the best provider, I need that same energy as a house husband too. Mm. I don't care about who pays the bills. It's all about, like, like you said, it's all about that conversation. What did we mm-hmm. agree on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That Let's keep that. Now, if you're going through constant seasons of needing help, now I have a problem with, 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 with what you got going on with your motivation and what you do and your ambition. Mm. Why do you keep losing money? Right. Where, where is your financial literacy? Right. I'm, I'm not here. And to, that dives a bit deeper because it does. Um, at the end of the day, I don't want a household husband. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> no, that's great. I and I understand it. that. I respect it. I don't want a house husband. Um, but 
you that's why dating and understanding your partner is important. I understand there's many of situations where people grow together and some people there's so many things that can happen where a man no longer is providing and that's very unfortunate. But at the end of the day, I feel like your woman will grow resentful. If oh. she was used to you providing and now has to take on full responsibility of providing for a household no, and that tiring. was a conversation and that was never an agreement. Um and now you let years and years go on absolutely not like and in most cases she's still the main parent yeah yeah exactly so resentment is gonna grow from i'm literally doing everything everything. yeah and um absolutely not and a lot of times (laughs) because the provide the used to be provider is only focusing on the providing he forgets about the mother always being the automatic parent anyway. Exactly. So it's like, oh, parent. well, you know, a man always has to provide anyway. That's the expectation. I'm like, okay, but parent at exactly. least. You know what I'm saying? Now, I will say this. I'm attracted to a man that can provide. Mm-hmm. If I feel like he could teach me something that he has more than I have. Because the thing is, if a man can provide and he could do his thing and he has his, his, his motives are strong, his ambition is strong, whatever, I would want that man. But for me, I feel like that's a fantasy in my life. I feel like I will never get that guy. You will. Because mm-hmm. I, I always um, end up, I'm, for some reason, I attract the ones that want to humble me. Like, well, I don't want to pay for all the dates. Uh, you know, that's I, I believe like, you know, just always, always stress on a man buying everything and planning everything and being great and doing this. And I'm like, well, blame that on the patriarchy if you want to cry. <laughs> And for me, it's more of a representation of someone that I feel that could, is not just support, but I can rely on you. Yeah. I can really breathe with my partner. And that's mm. me, right? It, 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 it isn't really just a price tag of, well, he can pay for this, this, and this. He's the provider <laughs> of my home, and it makes me feel like, comfortable it makes me feel good that he can leave this house so there's a lot more reasons to why i feel the way that i feel personally yeah but um yeah i would say that um if tomorrow in my current relationship um my husband who is a king who has stepped up like crazy when we decided to have a baby mm-hmm. and who I, I just command y'all, right? shout out and <laughs> I, I love, love you y'all. to death for that um, for allowing me the space to be myself to enjoy the pregnancy to mm-hmm. enjoy being a mom Oof, to enjoy exactly. being there for my child and not putting him to daycare um, he, he deserves <laughs> the best crown for the, that and anyway, so the crown so God, you hearing if this? one day he is in position where um, it's required for me to, to provide, to help, mm-hmm. I would do it with so much pride. Right. Yeah. Because exactly. he have shown to Don't me... Don't get your rest, Kang. That, yeah, he's Don't shown get your to rest. me that he's been the king. He has nothing to prove to me. Right. So for me to even be in the position that I can actually help you, I'm, I would be so, so proud, proud right. to be like, you know what? I had the opportunity to also show my appreciation and to show that I want to contribute to taking us to the best, Absolutely. the best space that and could I've, be. And I feel like I a lot of that. times, people, I love that. a lot of, a lot of certain groups forget that like women want to make the man feel special yeah. Absolutely. where the man can be, can have a certain trait of receiving. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of men's like, I'm a provider, I'm a man, I'm masculine, I'm alpha that that art of giving 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 some of them don't understand how to receive, receive yes beautiful and they don't understand like all right and if i make ways. my woman not even make if i allow my woman to feel safe because of my actions mm-hmm. not that it's your responsibility for her to feel safe you are allowing mm-hmm. her to mm-hmm. feel safe mm-hmm. she's gonna do everything for you but men right. don't see that because they're like black women are submissive they are submissive they need to be submissive you're not allowing her to be anybody. Exactly. Right. Just and, <laughs> and you can't really get good. what you can't even allow her to be. And I also want to say that it's important for us women mm-hmm. to understand also how a man can be affected by these things. Yep. Which means it's not because now you're in a position where you can better provide that the guy is fully okay with that. Mm-hmm. Um, some men have right. issues, like you said, to accept help. So I don't want to be the type of woman Could who's going to be in a position he's already, like, that's going to emasculate Ooh, yeah, a man absolutely. or make him feel like less. No. Because that's not a power move. That's not. And that's and horrible. And that's not good for the king that you want next to you. Um, so, so I think that there's, there's a, some type of balance mm-hmm. between 
what you can do and um and you know how how you go about it yeah you know um so yeah I wanted to yeah say and um just to piggyback a little bit off of i forgot exactly how you said it but i grew up watching certain things and i realized i just never wanted to be someone who worked and did everything for oh, my household right that's not mm-hmm. something i desire it's i not agree something i want i've seen that too um i i seen that a lot especially in caribbean homes where my mother was mom, dad, provide. Like, I would not get the opportunity to be a nurturer of my family if I had to be in such survival mode and be Mm -hmm. working to the grind. Now, there's different ways of working, but I just wouldn't want that role of, like you said, balance. It has to complement each other, and I definitely wouldn't mind a season of helping, but, you know. I don't think this role is good for anybody, not even the man. It's not. not even a man should do every single thing it's, in the house. That's harsh. It's a lot. That's Nobody. Why it's a partnership. It's a, that's right. <laughs> keywords, keywords, it's, keywords. Say that one more time. A what? Partnership. Thank you. That's <laughs> right. And you know you can um, also look up that episode. Partnership is another episode that you can look, yes. watch. <laughs> but yeah, like um, I feel like we definitely. could dive so deep into that one partnership. Topic. Is that one question? That is, one question is so has it's why? so yeah. It has it's, so many brackets. Shout out to dramatic. For Thank you for question. that question. Um, and I don't know if every woman knows how to say, or I don't know what some, some because some men could look at it as like, oh, gold digger did it. I, that definitely could hold my own. I'm fine. But <laughs> I just feel like it. What it's what it stands for on, mm-hmm. in both parties, you know, and it's understanding what you want, um, what you can do. I would never look at my man differently if he fell upon hard times doing whatever he needed to do for our family. And I'm definitely going to be security enough to be able to have a structure, but right. you never know what life gives you. Right. Right. So. We love that you guys can ask this type of questions. We love answering these questions. We love opening new perspectives for you guys. Please make sure we stay on that vibe. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You can at any point, any time just comment on any post on Instagram and we'll spot that question and reply to it. Ask a queen. It's a new thing. I hope you guys like it. I hope we reply to the question and I hope you have more questions for us. Yeah. Cause we like that. <laughs> we don't engage, please. <laughs> Intrigue us. And it's, the end of the episode? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm always sad. Already? I, I feel always like we sad. could talk for, for Literally four hours. Literally forever. And um, what you don't know if that is that after this episode, we still We're going to talk some more. But <laughs> oh, my God. It's, it's, it's a disease at this point. Oh, my God. <laughs> we yes, love you yes, guys. Yes, and yes. we will see you next week for a new episode. Mm-hmm. Boom. Peace. <laughs>